With Frappe version 5 on the horizon, well, I don't even know if it is on the horizon because first version 5 was coming out in July, then it was coming out in August, and, uh, you know, neither of those things have happened yet. So, I don't even think Frappe knows when version 5 is coming out, to be honest with you. I don't think they even know. But, either way, Frappe version 4 is nearing its end. And as much as I love trolling here, this place does have a little bit of sentiment to me because this is where it all began. This is where I started trolling on Roblox. Well, I mean, seriously anyway, when I started trolling seriously for YouTube. Because, um, yeah, this, this version has been around for a long time, so I thought, you know what, why not record this video here? Anyway, guys, so, the last Reading Your Comments video was pretty successful. And, uh, there's been a lot of views in the last videos, and there's been plenty of comments to read. So, let's get to reading some of them. Woo! Hey, can I have some dirt water? Yeah, there's no shortage of joke comments to read, because I think people are realizing, Hey, he's gonna read my comment if I make it funny enough, so I'm gonna make it funny. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the routine. <laughs> Diet water, I should use that troll. Next episode, trolling at Starbucks. What's funny about that comment is I think Frappe was originally called Starbucks, and I think they had to change it to Frappe because of copyright. That's what I've heard anyway. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but that's what I've heard. And uh, if that's the case, man, that's pretty interesting to say the least. Barney, how can I get a job here? Barista, that's not on the menu! Yeah, that's pretty much their most common response to most trolls. Either that or it's a PLEASE ORDER PROPERLY And you know, my old, I always respond to that with Oh, properly? Okay, I'll just have whatever troll I use PLEASE proper enough How many times do people say calls HR? Despite the fact that it's become a meme on this channel, it doesn't happen as often as you guys may think. I've only seen it a few times, and those few times was actually on video. I've never seen it happen off camera before. At least not yet. I'm sure it's happened before when I wasn't recording and when I wasn't around, but from what I have seen, it's just a thing that happens sometimes, but when it does happen, you guys think it's the funniest thing in the world, and I don't blame you. It's pretty funny. Poops on table. Calls admin. Hey look, it's a fan behind the counter. This guy recognized who I was just as I was about to start the recording again. Hello, lizard boy or girl, whatever you are, I really can't tell what you are. <laughs> look at the face. <laughs> Anyway, uh, back to the comment. Um, what was what was the comment again? I just completely forgot. What the? Do not assume my grade level. <laughs> First, this went from reading your comments video to reading baristas chat. Like, what what is this video turned into? Anyway, poops on table calls admin. Yeah, if that were possible, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't blame them for calling an admin in that case. Although, of course, just saying calls admin isn't gonna get anything done. But, yeah, if you did that in real life, yeah, you'd probably get arrested. <laughs> Can I get a extra medium water? Hello, man, there's like a lot of fans here today. Man, I'm really flattered. But on to the comment, I mean, what's sad about that is that that probably would upset a barista. Probably not this guy, though, because he seems to be a cool barista who, who probably doesn't get upset by trolls because he follows a troll and yours truly. So he's probably, you know, prepared for the kind of trolls that we unleash on baristas. I feel bad though. I know it's just a game, but it is a little rude. Frappe wants to have an original virtual cafe. This trolling makes them upset. I know it's just for fun, but I start to like the game after I see how they are. Cute grammar, cute personality? Okay. To be honest, I want this trolling to stop. I don't care if I will get hate. Go to other games. This game is not called Join the Troll Game. Now, before I respond to this one, I would just like to ask... Yeah, I would just like to ask that you guys don't send hate to that person. This person was just trying to spread their opinion, and that's fine. I'm fine with people spreading their opinions, even if they aren't like my own. As long as they're not trying to attack me, I'm fine with people disagreeing with me, so please... Please do not send any hate to that person. Anyway, moving on to that person. I think you're blowing this way out of proportion. Way out of proportion. I think that you need to understand that 
People here are used to trolling by now. Really, they are. Like, if I was to walk up to any of these guys, well, except for the newbies, if I was to go up to any of these guys and ask them, hey, how often do you guys deal with trolls on a daily basis? They would probably say a lot. That or say, please order properly. But, you know, one of those two. They would probably say that they deal with it very often. So it's nothing new for people to troll here. I'm not the only one. Like, here, if I stayed here long enough, I would probably catch a troll in the act. Oh, I'm making people upset. Okay. Well, let me tell you a story, all right? There is a fan of this channel named Danielle, all right? And she was once a worker here at Frat Bay. And uh, I actually trolled her a couple times on video. And you would never suspect it based on her reactions to my trolls, but she actually found my trolls funny and entertaining. And uh, the proof of this is that she actually came to me and told me. So, you know. So, that's just one example. I'm sure she's not the only one. She did end up leaving Frat Bay, but still, but still, the case still remains that she was a worker and she found my content entertaining. I'm sure she's not the only one. I can guarantee you she's not the only one. Go to other games. This game is not called Join the Troll Game. I want this trolling to stop. Well, unfortunately, that's not gonna happen, all right? Even if I was to stop trolling here, others will take my place. And about going to other games, I'm assuming you're talking about other uh, cafe games, trolls are there too. Trolls are there as well. Go to Pastry's Bakery, there's trolls there. Go to Soros' Restaurant, there's trolls there. Go to uh, Sizzle Burger, th there's trolls there. So Frappe isn't the only place that has trolls. It's a widespread thing. And this isn't the game for it. I would argue against that. Because honestly, what other purpose do these games have? To get virtual food. Okay, fine. What else is there to do? After you get your virtual food, what else is there to do? What else is there to do? Obviously, it wasn't designed to be a trolling game and it wasn't originally made to be one but i think that's what it's turned into i think that's what it's turned into even though it wasn't the intent that's what it turned into so i would say yes this is a trolling game that's what it's turned into so yeah to pretty much wrap it all up i think you're blowing this way out of proportion way out of proportion so hold on a second Okay, sorry about that. I think they need to understand that a lot of this trolling is just for fun and games. It's it's to have fun and enjoy ourselves. It's not hurting anybody. Unless if someone takes trolling too far, then, then it's a problem. That's when it's a big, big problem. I'm thinking about making a video in the future that, that uh, tells the different definitions between trolling and bullying. I think that's what this person thinks we're doing that we're bullying them. That's not what we're doing. At least that's not what I am doing. I'm sure there's trolls out there that think they're trolling, but they're actually bullying, but that's not me. I, I don't bully people. I just mess around with people and I like to just annoy them a little bit. I don't try to put people down. So that's, that's basically it. So don't blow it out of proportion. This is all just for fun and games. I'm not trolling and I have pics to prove it. Congratulations, you are the new Kitchen Nightmares Nino. What's great about that is I actually understand that reference. I watch Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon Ramsay is great. I love that reference. So basically, if you don't get the reference, uh, Nino was a restaurant owner who actually like had to take pictures of himself cleaning the restaurant to prove that he cleans his own restaurant. So that, that's, what, um, that's what that is a reference to. I am getting crowded right now. It's getting hard to breathe. Oh, hey, here's, a, here's something that's worth answering. Am I gonna do a trolling at version five when it comes out? Oh yeah, I absolutely will. No question about it. Just because Frat Bay is changing doesn't mean I'm leaving. No way. I, I, ain't, I ain't leaving anytime soon. Okay, I looked above me. So can I order a ceiling panel and two light bulbs? Actually, it's two ceiling panels and a light bulb, but still, yeah, it's one of my favorite trolls to use because it's it's really funny. It's actually not one of mine. I think I got that from Green Lego Cats, so credit to him for that troll. I just use it a lot because it's really funny because they always say the menu is above and it's just funny to go like, oh, okay, let's look above. Hmm. 
I see a ceiling. So there's probably ceiling panels. Oh, and there's a light bulb right there. Guess I'll just order that light bulb. Yeah, that works for me. I hate it when they kick you as soon as the barista says they are trolling. Like, why can't they hear the troller out before they kick them? They always kick and never get the other side of the story. Both of them are absolutely 100% correct about that. Admins will never, and I mean never, listen to customers. They will always believe that the admins are correct. No matter what. You have to prove them wrong in order to get them to believe you. Whereas baristas just have to say that you're a troller and they'll just ban you on the spot. There is clearly a bias. Clearly a bias towards the workers when it comes to admins. Like that person down there at the end of the hall there. It's not really a hall, but whatever. That's probably an admin right there. If any barista was to say that I am trolling, she would probably ban me without a second thought. Without even checking the chat logs or anything. They would just do it without thinking about it. They just ban. There is absolutely a bias. These two people who commented are absolutely correct about that. And I think that there really shouldn't be a bias. I mean, I know this is a fake cafe and all, but in real life, there's a thing called customer service, and they certainly don't have that here. I love how the staff think that if they say, Sir, please stop. The trolls will just listen to them and stop trolling. I think it's supposed to be like to give them a quote-unquote chance to stop trolling before they call an admin to ban them, and then that admin will, you know, just ban them without thinking about it. But, yeah, it's supposed to be to give them a quote-unquote warning, I think. That's what I think it's all about. STOP TROLLING! CAUSE ADMIN? Yeah, that's pretty much their routine, and I am trying to get that t-shirt made. I asked you guys if you guys would like it if I made that meme into a t-shirt or a shirt, and you guys said that you would. So I am definitely going to try and get that done. I have no idea how long it's going to take, though, because I don't have a lot of experience working with developers, so we'll see how that one works out. It's hilarious how the workers take such offense to being pushed. They can't even feel it, and it's literally happening in a pixelated game. I think that is a great example of how easy it is to get people mad around here. It's, it's just so easy. All I really need to do is just do this. Look, see? Just do that, and people will start getting upset. I mean, it's, 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 it's really funny. Ow. Well. I guess that guy's an exploiter. They take their fake job so seriously. Like it's a game, bruh. They acting like it's real, LMAO. If anyone is to blame for people taking things too seriously, I'd say it's the admins. Because they're the ones who train the baristas, and they turn them into these people who can't take a joke. They can't take a joke. They'll just automatically call you a troll and threaten to get you kicked or banned for making a joke. For making a joke. And that's why trolling is so funny here. Because they get so angry over jokes. It's great. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I've got for now. So, uh, Frappe version 5. When it does come out, I will definitely be trolling there. One thing I'm worried about, though, is if they're gonna make an update that makes it harder to troll. Because one of Frappe's biggest problems, from their perspective anyway, is trolls. So I would imagine that with version 5, they're gonna attempt to do something that makes it harder for trolls to get away with trolling. So, I'm gonna have to pretty much learn the system all over again, if that's the case. So, we'll see what happens from there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!